Shabbat Shalom, beloved, a word. As I was going about my day, I woke up and I prayed and I walked about and I was doing other things and the spirit kept bringing the word favor to me. And as I continued doing the other things I was doing, the spirit came back and said, favor, favor. And so beloved, I'm gonna share a word today and we're gonna start with favor. You see, many of the children have the favor of the most high on their lives. But when you think about the world and you try to add favor, you might not get the full understanding of what it means to be favored by the most high. Because we are still waiting for him to come and get us. Some people don't feel favored yet. Some people may not understand favor. Favor that you will live eternally with the most high. And this short life that we're in will pass away. Old things will pass away and all things, including you and I, will become new favor. But even in this land where we walk, beloved, favor is upon us. How do we know that we have the favor of Yahuwah? When it is counted as righteousness, you see, being of the seed of Abraham, one of the things that Abraham did, he believed Yahuwah, and it was counted unto him as righteousness. That belief that he had, beloved, was in the word of Yahuwah. That word we call Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of the Most High, it gave Abraham favor. You too, beloved, believe his word because Yeshua HaMashiach is called the word of Yah. Abraham heard the word of Yah and it was counted unto him as righteousness, it gave him favor. Noah believed Yahuwah and he found grace and favor in the eyes of Yah. Even though the world was populated with untold millions, possibly billions of people, Noah found grace, he found favor in the eyes of Yahuwah, beloved. You see, many of us nowadays, we find ourselves in the world falling away from Yah, just like in the days of Noah. Many people follow their own thoughts, their own beliefs. They even made Elohim of their own hands and their own thoughts that serve their desires. But they did not follow what the Most High said. Those ancient patriarchs and fathers and mothers of ours, he put them to sleep. We know before Noah took that faithful voyage with his wife, three sons and their wives, that Methuselah was the last one to live the longest before Noah took that faithful voyage. And all the other ancestors fell asleep because they were not going to experience what those who had no belief in the word of Yah would experience that deluge. You see, 
just as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days before the returning of the Son of Man. But you see, favor, beloved, that spirit that was in Noah is in his chosen. That spirit that was in Abraham is in you, beloved. Believing Yahuwah, his word, his word is so powerful. It saves to the utmost. Abraham actually is sleeping, but he shall never truly know death because in the final resurrection, in the resurrection, he shall be restored again, awakened again. The earth and the sea shall give up her day. The dust itself shall give up those committed to it. Some people, because of the manner in which they passed away, they are scattered particles of dust, but even the dust itself shall form those who were given to it. Yes, beloved, favor, favor. You see, the world counts many of the spiritual people as being foolish. They don't believe in Yahuwah. Many of them are religious. They go about with outward acts of uh, so-called holiness, but they don't believe in the word of Yah. And in believing to the best of our abilities, we follow the law, statutes, and commands. Yah knows our hearts. He knows. You see, in this world, when you think about the word of Yah, and Yah says he favors no man, what does he mean? When you look at the way parents or families or even many people in our occupational business do, they may favor one over the other, but when Yahuwah gives out his blessing, his faith is based on the fact that you are counted righteous. Why? Because you believe Yahuwah's word. And to the best of your ability, you follow it. We're going to look in the book of 1 Corinthians. Bear with me as I go to check. Wait a minute. We're going to look in the book of 1 Corinthians. Bear with me. Chapter one, verse, I'm going to 1 Corinthians chapter one, verse 21. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. The world has outsmarted itself. It has outsmarted itself. Yes, beloved. You see, even now, there is a edict coming down in the world. Removing a law called Roe versus Wade. That law is not removed to save Yasharel or to increase the numbers of Yasharel. No, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It was never the desire to increase the numbers of Yasharel other than during bondage to gain all work and profit from us. But because the profits cannot be gained the same way, now the desire is for the Babylonians to increase. And the desperation has become so great, they've changed their own law. Because those laws are laws of men and not of Yahuwah. They are laws of men and not of Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to blend this statement for a minute. For after that, in the wisdom of Yah, the world by wisdom knew not Yah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. 
they made a law. They made a law that went against the law of Yah because they knew not Yah. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, it states, thou shalt not kill. But you see, irregardless of the reasoning and the argument, they made a law that thou can't kill. Now they reverse the law. Why? Is it to honor Yahuwah's law? No. It's to honor themselves. To save a nation whose numbers have decreased significantly, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. By any means necessary. All right. Now, but. For after that, in the wisdom of Yah, the world by wisdom knew not Yah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I'm in 1 Corinthians chapter 1 at the 21st verse. It pleased Yah by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So if he saved those that believe, what happened to those that did not believe? Uh, they don't have favor. The judgment has come and begun, beloved. You see, there are some who are favored and some who are not. There are those who believe because Yasharel was under a 400-year edict by their own wrong and evil that they were just fortunate who the other nations from robbing, killing, stealing, robbing, and destroying. They think it was by their own weaponry, by their own wisdom, by their own skills, so to speak. They don't understand the power of the edict that was upon Yasharev. But now it's turned around. Now it's changed. Yes, yes, yes. And because they knew not God, it pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believed. Mm -hmm. Now, beloved, let's move on. Mm -hmm. I want to come down. Verse 27. Now, I say that in regard to these laws that are not laws. They are laws of men subject to change. And yet the law of Yahuwah changeth not. I'm going to go quickly. Bear with me to the book of Mark chapter seven. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just quote it because I got a lot of books around. I don't wanna stop and go all over the place reaching. As a matter of fact, I'm still gonna go Matthew, Mark, let me find Mark. He had moved me some days ago to read Mark seven. Mark seven, okay. And there is a statement Yeshua says in Mark seven. Okay, let me get to it. Okay, Mark 7. And there is one in particular that I want to read if I can find it. Okay, Mark 7. Hmm, it wasn't Mark 7, it was Matthew 7. Bear with me, bear with me. I'm going to go to Matthew 7. It may have been Matthew 7 that I was. Bear with me. Yes, yes, yes. It was Matthew 7. Bear with me, beloved. Okay. He's talking about the law and the prophets. The law and the prophets. Beloved. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to find it. I'm having a problem already. Forgive me, bear with me. What's it in here? Mm. Okay. I'm going to go to Matthew 7, verse 12. 
Therefore, all, th all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. I wanted to find that part, and it may not be here, okay, where it says, um, he did not come to do away with the law and the prophets, but I'm going to keep going. I'm sorry for that pause. But to fulfill that, okay, you see, they do away with laws and then reinstitute another law and then got laws to twist the law and add to the law and change the law and put loopholes in the law. Mm -mm. But you see, the law that we have, yes, 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 changes not. There's even a law for the spirit of life. There's a law. It changes not. It comes not by way of man's mouth. These laws that they change and they put in place are self-serving laws. They honor not Yahuwah because they know not Yah. Yes, yes, yes. But you see, I'm going down now, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27. But Yah has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You see, those people think that they are wise. Mm. Those who know not Yah. Now they want to stand up as though they are righteous, like the Pharisees are outward show, when there was nothing in them that's truly righteous to spiritually honor, to honor Yahuwah in spirit and truth, to honor his laws, statutes, and commands, beloved. We're talking about favor. Those nations that are now under judgment and they try to change times and laws, but it matters not. Yah said in the book of Obadiah, I have made thee small among the heathen. What does that mean? It is not just a fertility issue of the female. Mm -mm. It's the semen issue of the male as well. He has made them small among the heathen, beloved. They have not been chosen. They have not found righteousness in the eyes of Yahuwah. Why? Because they did not believe him, his word, okay? As a matter of fact, hmm. for after that in the wisdom of Yah, the world by wisdom knew not Yah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about favor, beloved. We're going to talk about favor of the chosen ones. Yes, yes, yes. You see, Yah has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. There are those who think they are wise. And he takes the foolish ones, you know, to follow preaching and confounds them. Right now, the world is confounded. We have all the riches and all the gold. We had all the power and all the authority. And yet, how are we losing? You are confounded because they knew not Yah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Yah has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Yes, yes, yes. Right now, the world sees Yasharel as something to be exploited, to be robbed and plundered, to be overcharged and locked away. They consider Yasharel weak. And yet many of the things they have come because of Yasharel, be it the land that they loot and plunder or the people themselves. But let me move on. And the base things of the world and things which are despised mm, has Yah chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things which are, that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him, come on, chosen, here come your favor. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, his word of life, who of Yah is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. You see, beloved. The righteousness of Yeshua, Yeshua is upon you. 
because you believed Yah, like Abraham. So now that favor comes in, that favor, because the others chose not to know him, not to follow him. They think it is by their strength, by their wisdom, by their power. And yes, there are those Gentiles that do believe. And the mercy of Yah is upon them. But make no mistake about it, even when we go home and there will be Gentiles with us, the Gentiles will never stand in leadership over Yasharel. The leaders will always be of the house of Yasharel, always. But his mercy can and does extend to the Gentiles who believe and understand. Now, I'm going to talk about favor, beloved. He put the word favor on me. Many of you, even in the lands of our captivity, are experiencing favor. Favor doesn't always show itself the way you think it should. What the devil uses for our bad, Yahuwah turns around for our good. All things work together for the good of those that love Yah. You see, even when it looks like we're losing, he make you win. He will make you win, beloved. The world at one point was teaching that having children, a lot of children was a weakness. Yes, yes it was. That's for poor people. That's for those third world, for those others. Yes, yes. They taught, they taught that being chic, they even made it hard for people to have children and support them. But you see, the word of Yah says they are our riches. They are our inheritance. Who? Our children. Mm. But others knew it not. Mm. Mm. It's okay. I made you small among the heathen. You are greatly despised. Your arrogance has deceived you. They are deceived by their own counsel. But let me go back to the favor, beloved. I, I, I want to bring something before I go. Because he, he was touching me about favor. And you need to understand the favor that is on you, even here in the lands of our captivity. First and foremost, you believe, yeah, and it is counted unto you as righteousness. Why? Because that is his word. You have accepted Yeshua HaMashiach as your word and savior, as your Lord and savior. And it is counted unto you as righteousness, the children of Abraham, if you will. Like Noah, you have found grace in his sight. Although an entire world is sitting under judgment, favor is upon you. Think about Noah going into that ark with those seven other people. Favor was at the door. Favor and grace was upon him. And it wasn't going to stop, beloved. Mm -mm. Now, one of the things you need to understand is even when we read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, there were blessings and there were curses. Yes, yes, yes. Those who are following Yahuwah and his word and have that favor, even here in the land of our captivity, those blessings Oh, upon you. Yes, yes, yes. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Blessed shall thou be in the city. You can be around people that are dying and being home, and somehow it goes around you. The angel of the Lord is protecting you. Blessed are you in the field. Unbeknownst to you, there's animals and deadly things, but there's a guardian around you that favor, okay? Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body. You see, there are other nations right now having problems. 
appropriated. But your body is blessed, beloved. Trust me when I say that law Roe versus Wade was not done away with the thought of increasing the population of Yashareth. But it doesn't matter what man does because Yahuwah is releasing a blessing. Yes, yes, yes. On those who follow him. I'm not talking about those who don't. I'm talking about those that do. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Mm. You get into a point, you look around and you realize there's nothing I need. I don't really need, I have some wants. But when I think of a need, even now, here's the thing, and you got to understand. You are the child of the most high. Does that not mean that you don't prepare as food becomes so-called food shortage? No, it doesn't. You use your wisdom. However, understand. You are never going to lack. The favor is upon you, beloved. The favor so that you don't fear. Don't look at the eyes and hands of a man. You look to Yahuwah from whom all our blessings flow. Favor, beloved. Look for the favor to come. All right? Mm -hmm. Blessed shall be thy basket in thy store. Blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in. Mm. Somebody dropped some food off. Could have been from Phil Abundance. Somebody just dropping off food and giving away things for free. And, you know, you find in favor. He takes that favor and even puts it on other people's hearts to favor you. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And blessed shall thou be when thou goest out. Favor. Favor. Suddenly, a creditor cancels the debt. Yes, yes, yes. Favor, beloved. Favor. Why? Because you love and fear the Lord with all thy heart, mind, and soul, and strength. What is the beginning of wisdom? Wisdom that was given unto Jacob. Fear of the Lord. The law and the prophets are summed up. Two things. Two things. One, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, and strength. Love thy neighbor as thyself. So you are following those commandments. When you are not trying to do evil, when you are not looking to steal, kill, rob, and destroy, when you fear the Lord, when you love the Lord, it comes that favor. Favor does not always come in the guise that you think it should. It does not. But that does not mean the chosen do not have favor, beloved. Mm, wait a minute. The Lord shall command the blessing upon thee in, all, in thy storehouses and in all that thou set thy hand to. And in all that thou set thy hands to. Just to give you an understanding of what I mean. How what the devil means for our good, bad. God uses it for our good. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. I was getting my kitchen remodeled. I, I moved into a house that um, needed work. And uh, my Babylonian neighbor called the, uh, the county, the person who was doing the work did not have all the permits, so they stopped the work. Next thing I know, I'm living in a house that I don't have a kitchen, a sink, a cabinet. It just gutted room. And the contractor that I had wanted, I couldn't get him at the time because uh, he was busy. He was backed up with other people that wanted him. And it was very hard to get all the supplies. But I told him what happened. He came to the house. He was like, I got to see for myself. He looked and he saw and was like, my God, you have nothing. Yeah, nothing. Remember what the devil mean for you bad. Okay. First thing he did was say, you know, it's going to be very hard to order cabinets and this and that, you know. And then he said, can I get a hold of the original contractor? Sure, I still had his information. We bought all of the material 
the original contractor had. Then the other contractor who I had wanted and couldn't get, he was so upset by how it happened that he determined he was going to fix that kitchen. I ended up with something above and beyond anything I could have ever hoped or imagined. I, I had limited funds with the first contractor. But somehow in finding that grace, more funds came in. I had more time. And I ended up with something that the neighbor, looking through windows and trying to see, you know, she brought about a blessing. Even though I had to walk through that moment where for over a month and a half, we were cooking on hot plates. I was washing dishes in the bathroom sink. We, we, we had no kitchen, okay? I had to literally wash dishes out in the bathroom sink, put them on the dining table to dry them. I mean, set them up on the dining table, dry them, cook on a hot plate. But I praise y'all even through that. Thank you, y'all, that I had the electricity for the hot plate to work. Thank you, y'all, that I had the water to wash the dishes and enough money to buy the dish liquid. I'm telling you, we praise him. And because that contractor helped me, remember, he blesses those that bless us. Through the first contractor who got stopped, the second contractor ended up with a blessing because the first contractor had a deal with a company that made cabinets that cost, that were better than the cabinets the second contractor was buying, that cost less but were of a better quality. He also found out about better deals for packages on uh, appliances. And I'm looking at him, he go to word of Yah. He blesses those that bless us. He was a blessing to us. So Yah was throwing a blessing right back at him. He was getting happy as he was finding these things that the first contractor, who was going to do the work but didn't have the permits, didn't have all his licenses in the county, couldn't do. Favor, beloved. Even in the midst of a storm, there's favor, favor, like when the disciples were in the ship with Yeshua, like with Yeshua and he was asleep. There was favor in that ship. The word of the most high was there. In the midst of a storm when death looked like it was all around and they highly carest thou not that we perish. Mm, mm, mm. Woo, let me show you who you're dealing with. He rebuked the winds and the waves. Mm -hmm. favor chosen in the midst of your storm joseph is being carried off to egypt a slave and a prisoner but favor was on joseph he was going to be raised high from that lowly position he was in a furnace of affliction that was shaping him to be in a, a leadership position yes 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 favor beloved You've got to see that favor, even when your family doesn't treat you right. Because mm -hmm. we got some families out here of the flesh. It's something else. They something else. You 40, 50, 60 years old, and they want to treat you like you're still a child because they older than you. Because mommy and daddy favored them because they were the prettiest one. They were the most handsome one. They made more money at one time. Okay, but yet when you start coming up, now they resent you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you see, y'all favors no man. What does that mean? I'm not favoring you because you're the firstborn or because you daddy's favorite or mommy's boo-boo. I'm following that one that's after my heart. They go the apple of my eye. Many of you have the spirit of David upon you, beloved. Iliad, oldest son of Jesse, they thought the favor was upon him because Jesse's eye saw, and that's my oldest boy right there. When the prophet Samuel, whose words never fell to the ground, came to get one of Jesse's sons, he automatically thought, gotta be Iliad. Mm. After they went through all those signs, Samuel's like, I, you know, even Samuel couldn't see. 
What do y'all say? Man judges by the eyes, outward appearance. Y'all judges by the heart. Here come that favor, beloved. Here come that favor. Some of y'all been lied on, manipulated, used, and abused. But y'all's looking at your heart, and that favor, that blessing is on you. When you look at Joseph, Joseph may have had the favor of Jacob at one time, but when his brothers got a hold of him, there was no favor going on over there. And mama already died, okay? He's in the pit, sold away his slave. Here's David. They looking at Eliab like he all that arrayed and all his soldier apparel, tall and strapping. David's out there in the wilderness fighting off bears and lion, protecting his sheep because he had a heart that was true and pure. And yet when the army of Israel went up against, against Goliath and they ran, Iliad, the all that ran right along with him, hiding. But David had that favor on him. He believed in Yah. He didn't even play, don't disrespect Yah. Who is this uncircumcised heathen? Dishonoring the army of the Most High. Young boy, but he knew to whom he belonged and to whom he was committed. Favor, beloved. Favor, even when a king was running around trying to take his life. Favor. Now, you know, it's a powerful thing. The man with all the power in the land trying to kill you. But the favor of Yah is upon So don't allow the wisdom of the world to sway you. When you believe what you believe and know what you know when you're committed. In that word of Yah, you see, yes, Yeshua HaMashiach is our Lord and Savior. We believe that he came into the world, died for our sins and rose after three days and now sits on the right hand of Yahuwah. Yes, we do. But you got to understand the depths and the truth of that. When we made him our Lord and our Savior, come on now. That means the word of Yah is Lord over our lives. His word from the book of Genesis all the way to the book of Revelations, from the lost books of the Bible, mm -hmm. book of Jasher. Yes, yes, yes. That's Lord and Savior over our lives. His law, statutes, and commands. We believe, receive, and live them, speak them. Yes, beloved, that's our truth. When we surrender, when we submit, mm -hmm. favor for his chosen. Yes, yes. See, a lot of people, they get this physical image of Yeshua, Yeshua HaMashiach. I follow that man. No, I follow the word. The word, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. It was Yah. It was in the beginning. It was before he even put on flesh. Okay. Before he moved into a virgin's womb, dressed himself in a robe of flesh, birthed himself and walked among men. Before that, when he was in the garden calling out to Adam. I believe. Therefore I speak. When Yah told Abraham and Abraham believed him, I believe. I was following. We follow when we were in his loins all the way back then. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We sitting there building the ark with no word. We believe his word is Lord in our lives. Therefore, that favor comes, beloved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not just following a man because he was more than a man. Yahuwah was so intent to, be, to save his beloved. He put on that robe of flesh and walked in moments. But he was always there. Whenever Yahuwah spoke, you heard Yeshua HaMashiach. Because they he that's his word. Whenever Yah spoke, Yeshua HaMashiach was there. So when we believe, 
Mm-hmm. What did Yeshua HaMashiach say? I came in the volume of the book. Rams and goats, you have no pleasure in. I come in the volume of the book, the whole thing. Whenever Yahuwah speaks, here come Yeshua HaMashiach. When he spoke the law on Mount Sinai, Yeshua HaMashiach was there. That's the word of Yahuwah. Those law, statutes, and commands. When you're in the book of Leviticus, Yeshua HaMashiach is there. So when you're making your Lord and Savior, he came in the volume, beloved, and there lies your favor. You will be blessed in the city, blessed in the field. He'll bless the fruit of your womb. Whatever you lay your hands on, he will prosper. You speak a thing into existence, okay? Mm-hmm. He opened up the windows of heaven, pour you out a blessing you don't have room for. You got to start giving it away. Favor. When you should have died and you're still alive, favor. When there's peace in your mind and health in your body, favor. Yes, your health is your wealth. Mm-hmm. Come on now, come on. When the other ones are the walking dead and you the true living, favor. Beloved, don't look through the eyes of the world because they can't teach you anything. They're the walking dead. Dead man walking, dead man walking, dead woman walking. Twice dead. And the second death is the final death. Mm-hmm. You, they got the gold and the silver. They know not. My father owns the whole earth. All the gold, all the silver is his. Mm-hmm. The rubies, the diamonds, the gems, the pearls, they belong to my daddy. He owns the earth and the sky and the sea and all therein. Therefore, it belongs to us. Why? Because we heirs. We are heirs. You aren't poor, you're rich. You got favor, beloved. Know this for certainty. Know this for a certainty. And when we made Yeshua HaMashiach our Lord and Savior, we did it knowing we following the volume of the book. The volume. He's not just Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Come on now. Come on now. That's that church service been in church and see i i was truly in church love church induced me to the law too i'm not putting church down although i don't run that way no more we the church true church we the church i'm not putting it down there was truly some anointed folks was in there i was in there you were in there some of y'all okay we're not gonna put it down it served its purpose for its reasons and seasons. And now they're falling away. You got people walking around to my own woke. You ever noticed the, the true and the counterfeit? You got this whole woke culture. Mm-hmm. They go them tears sitting among the weak. You got some people I was listening to this brother. And I remember he was confirming something that I already noticed. You got some of these people, Babylonians. Now the new thing is they want to praise God, but it's with their tongue and not with their heart. Like this is a fashionable thing to do. Oh no, oh, oh really? Yah seeks those who, who worship him in spirit and truth. If you woke, then you know what's going on in this world. And I'm not saying some of them aren't woke, but they use everything Yasharel does. Everything on TikTok, the little brothers and sisters, they make songs, they make dances, and the Babylonians copy them and try to go out there and pretend like they created them. Mm-hmm. Still kill and destroy. Still kill, rob, destroy. Mm-hmm. But you got faith, my beloved. Yes, yes, yes. When your works are tested in the fire and you come through like pure gold. You are chosen and that favors upon you. And remember, even those things that seem to be put there for your bad, Yahuwah spins it around and uses it for your good. Everything the world is doing to try to hold on to its power is just taking it further and further into its own destruction. Judgments come. There are those among Yasharel that 
are under judgment because they don't believe. What? The word of the most high. It's his word. Yes, beloved. Submit. Believe in your heart. Yeshua is the son of Yahuwah. He came into this world to save those that are sinners. For we all have sinned. Yes, yes. He died and rose from the grave after three days. Believe. But understand the depths of who he is. We're not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We're not going to put this religion on. He is the volume of the book. He's the law, statutes, and commands. He's the prophets. Everything you see, if it came from Yah's words, there's Yeshua HaMashiach. One. Yahuwah is one. He's one. Those are his words that went out so powerful that they took on a life all their own. But they're all him. From the moment you get to Genesis 1, 1, here go Yahshua HaMashiach, he's the word of Yah. Till you get to the last word spoken in the book of Revelation, there's Yeshua HaMashiach, the volume of the book, beloved, chosen, favored. You walk in the volume of the book. favors on your life right here where you are you need something and boom it just comes all of a sudden i remember thinking i wanted a certain kind of fish i went to one uh supermarket couldn't find went to go to home depot doing something i looked over at this other supermarket my husband wanted something i'm like all right i'll walk you over there i wouldn't even think about the fish no more because i couldn't find it and as i'm walking him i'm just walking around looking in a uh, supermarket and there was the fish. I had to go get my shoes out the shoe shop after I got them resold. I needed the balance of the money to get the shoes out the shoe shop. I didn't have any more cash. And I'm thinking, man, I need $20. I need $20 to pay the balance of this. Didn't think no more of it. I'm getting dressed, thinking, maybe I'll go to the math machine. All right, I'm getting dressed. Let me try these. I ain't wear them pants in a minute. I put them on. A $20 bill in the pocket. Favor, beloved. Favor. You don't measure it by the way the world measures things either. Don't measure it with, hmm, I'd have rather it was 200 or 2,000. No, he supplies all your needs. All your needs. I needed $20. He gave me, them pants was there. I don't even know how long. But that day, when I needed those $20, and hadn't thought about wearing pants. I was going to wear one of my long skirts. I put those pants on. And there's a $20 bill in the pocket. Okay. All things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. Favor, beloved. Even in your trials and struggles and tribulations and persecutions. Favor. Beloved, while we're here waiting to go home, favor, all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahuwah and his word of life, Yeshua HaMashiach. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the anointed of Yah. Blessed, Father. Let thy blessings flow upon us, touch us, cleanse us, guide us, Father. In this land of darkness, let our light shine. All praise unto you now and forevermore. Amen. Favor, beloved. Know it. Feel it. Believe it. Receive it. Recognize it. And all praise go to you. Every time a blessing comes. Every time I walk around my house, I'm not on the street. I got to give glory and honor to the, to the Father. There are homeless people out there praise you. Favor. I'm laying my head, your head, on a bed in peace. Favor, beloved. Know the blessings that are upon you. Mm -hmm. I'm fasting. I was doing the juice fast. When I was ready to break the fast and going to eat, I was so full. I'm still fasting, beloved. Favor. Favor. Favor, beloved.
know it, feel it, walk in it. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of the Most High, who came in the volume. That's who he is, the volume of the book. We're going to follow all things, all things. He came not to do away with the law. How could he? He is the law. He's the word. He didn't like these men's law. Mm -hmm. Favor, beloved. The favor of Yah is on your life this day and forevermore. Favor. Why? Because we believed Yah. We fear Yah. We love Yah. And we won't do to our neighbor anything we don't want done to ourselves. We follow his word, which is the entire embodiment of the law and the prophets. Everything else that you see, if you take those two statutes, when you're reading the book of Leviticus, think of, I love the Lord, my God, with all my heart, soul, strength, mind, body. Does it apply? I love my neighbor as myself. Does it apply? Do they fit line upon line, precept upon precept? The embodiment of it. Yes, yes, yes. And when we follow Yeshua HaMashiach, because we do, we follow him according to the volume of the book. Favor the Lord. Shabbat Shalom. A word.